What's up? This is Ben Jemfe. I hope you're having a smashing day. Today I wanted to talk about how you can use your MacBook as uh, a viewfinder when you're recording with your iPhone. Um, so it all started out with the fact that, you know, uh, sometimes when I vlog using my smartphone I use the front-facing camera, but it's only 1080p. I would prefer to shoot, you know, in 4K. But if I shoot like this, I can't see my face. So I don't know if I'm in focus. I don't know if I'm recording. It's a nightmare. I want to have control. It's not, it's not about, you know, me wanting to see my pretty face. It's not about that. I just want to you know, see that I'm focused, that I'm still recording, you know, see how uh, the light is um, changing. And maybe I'm in a room where there is light coming in. So, you know, since I'm a vlogger, I'm sort of the producer myself, so I need that kind of control. So, I start to think like, you know, when I'm recording with my mirrorless camera, the Panasonic G7, I usually use an old iPad, so I can always like see myself, see if I'm in focus, I can like tap on myself to make sure that I'm in focus. This has saved me a lot of time, it's a very efficient tool. So I figured, what if I could use something similar for my iPhone? Now, for those of you who are lucky enough to have like the Apple Watch, you can actually use the Apple Watch as a viewfinder when you're recording yourself using the iPhone, which is great, but I don't have the Apple Watch. I do have the iPad, however. Now, I there are alternatives, like I can, for instance, use uh, the app called uh, Movie Pro to record my videos on my iPhone 7. And then I can download a companion app to my iPad called Movie Pro Remote. And it works in the same way as this does. Like, I get to use my iPad as a viewfinder. Problem is, I've tested several of these options. It's not just Movie Pro. Filmic Pro has their own alternative Pro Movie. There are different ways to do this. Problem is that every time I try something like that, my iPhone overheats because I'm recording in 4K and it's also sending, you know, video streaming to another device. Something makes it heat up. It's the only time I've ever actually uh, been able to overheat my iPhone and it's when I've been using that kind of software. So, <sighs> sorry, three minutes into the movie and now I'm going to show you how you actually can use um, your MacBook. Now, I don't know if this solution works with uh, Android and PC laptops, but I am absolutely certain that you can. The trick that I use is basically I hook up my iPhone to my MacBook using the lightning cable and I start quick QuickTime. And when I'm in QuickTime, I just uh, select new movie recording. And it's gonna start by recording, uh, you know, using my um, FaceTime camera. But I can go next to the recording button and select a different camera and I can select my iPhone. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna basically display my iPhone. See, this is the, the sort of desktop on my iPhone. So what I just do is now I just hit record and boom, now I've got, eh? you see, are you watching this? Are you watching this? Like now I can record myself in 4K and I can have a viewfinder and it's a big viewfinder. This is, this is just a 13 inch MacBook, but it's perfect. Now, I, I wish I, this had like touch that I could like, you know, point to focus. Unfortunately, it doesn't. So I'm gonna have to like, you know, tap myself to focus, but it, it, this absolutely works. Now you can do this, just use this like a viewfinder or you can actually record what's being filmed here. That way you save the battery on your smartphone. Uh, the only problem with that is that it's, it's not a good option because it will record in the same resolution as your smartphone. So this one is not even full HD. This is not the plus edition. 
and I want to record in 4K. So I mainly I would use this, you know, just to get the uh, the ability to use this as a viewfinder, and I would record in 4K on my smartphone, and this is a good solution. The only problem is, and I'm sure that some of you have noticed, is this. I have this cable attached. Now I can't connect my iRig lab mic. I would have to get an adapter, because as you know, since iPhone 7, they removed the headphone jack, so you, you have to have like a dongle or some kind of an adapter, so you can plug this in to use as a viewfinder and also get some good audio. But yeah, this totally works. This is, this is a really good solution for a problem. And uh, it's very simple to do. Uh, I've had no issues doing it this way. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. I'll see you later.